All right. Now we are going to dive into the NPSP or Non-Profit Success Pack. So this is my specialty, my bread and butter. This is where it all began for me personally. So I work in a nonprofit organization and we weren't using Salesforce prior to 2014 we are using Siebel CRM and for one reason we have to decide to use a, a new CRM platform so long story short after tons of research comparison and many other decision um, discussions we have decided 2014 to use the Salesforce platform. So we migrated from Siebel to Salesforce. We invited a consulting company and they help us uh, design and implement Salesforce. So my role, I was the only IT person on the nonprofit organization. So therefore, I was assigned to maintain and also develop the platform because I'm the IT guy, right? So for those of you who are on a nonprofit organization, I think you can relate a lot with me because this is actually a typical non-profit situation why do they say welcome chosen one so if you are the chosen one you are the one that is assigned to manage maintain develop expand salesforce you are probably if not the only you are the primary salesforce person so you're not going to just administrate Salesforce. You would be required or expected to develop, even, you know, design as an architect, new solutions to help your nonprofit organization to achieve their goals. So this is very relevant for me personally. So before I knew Salesforce as a whole, the entire Salesforce platform, I knew very little starting with all about NPSP. So my understanding and knowledge was narrowed down to just NPSP when I started to know about Salesforce, just focusing on the nonprofit success pack. I think back then it's called Nonprofit Starter Pack and they changed the name to Nonprofit Success Pack. So for those, those of you who have been following my courses, we will not rediscuss everything that we have discussed on the Admin Beginner Trail, Admin Intermediate Trail and Admin Advanced Trail. So I have even uh, uh, created the developer beginner trail, developer intermediate trail, and the app exchange development trail. So those of you uh, who have not followed those trail or courses, please feel free to do that first and then jump into the NPSP, right? Not the other way around. I think that's the better path. So if you are starting uh, to learn Salesforce because your organization is just adopting Salesforce and you are wanting to know how NPSP works, it would help you better if you understand Salesforce as a whole first 
you can go through the all those those trail hats that I've been through like over 200 um, videos I think I've made 230 something videos go through that and then when we discuss this you have a better understanding and actually this is way way more simpler than Salesforce as a whole okay let's get started with that being said this uh, section the Salesforce data model we've discussed this thoroughly in depth on the admin beginner trail so basically this explain what is an object what is a field it is related to a spreadsheet like an excel spreadsheet so objects are the spreadsheet itself and the fields here the fields on Salesforce objects are the columns okay so please feel free to read through this if you are um, you haven't gone through the admin beginner trail you can read through it but for those of you who have been following me on those other trails this is basically the basic of Salesforce we are going to actually skim through it because we've discussed this in length and in depth okay so this is the basic so I'm just gonna stop and focus when there is a specific NPSP uh, model or uh, specific topics that pertains specifically for the NPSP we are going to focus on that and discuss that so this is the standard Salesforce um, page which you have um, been um, this which we have discussed about I'm gonna skim through it please feel free to read through that now the NPSP data model so what is the NPSP package? What is the NPSP, the whole NPSP? The whole NPS, NPSP is basically a whole lot of customization, customization of the basic Salesforce platform. So a ton of customization specifically made for surfing nonprofits organization. That being said, you can actually build the whole NPSP package on top of Salesforce on your own. By what? Why would you want to do that, right? That's that's pretty stupid. If somebody else already did the the ton of work, you can just use them, right? So the specific um, difference that's uh, that comes with the NPSP for example this model here an account an account can be a household which is a family um, and it can be also an organization right if it's if the account is a family the contacts are the mom dad the children probably if it's an organization it can be a business right it can be the CEO, the vice president, the sales people, marketing people, customer service people, and so on. It can also be um, a prison facility like my nonprofit organization. We minister to prison prisoners as well, help them out. So we have a prisoner as the account and the contact can be the head of the prison. Or the prison manager or the chaplain and then the contacts can also be the prisoners itself themselves and in or inmates right those are the contacts and the opportunity are usually donations um, grants donations book orders and so on and so forth so those are basically the main components the accounts the opportunities and the contacts and there are types of accounts all right so here you can read through this as well and campaigns campaigns are a, a, an object where you can keep track of any outreach or marketing campaign or outreach campaign say for example you are having an event right and you have um, 5,000 people invited to the event how many people came and then how many give donations 
How many bought a book? How many bought new people that they knew into the event creating new names, contacts? So all those are trackable through campaign, right? We will discuss about campaigns in depth um, on, on these trails here. So we have account, contacts, opportunity, and campaign so far, all right? So that's the data model out of the box for NPSP. And here is the, the more in-depth example or, or the flow chart uh, diagram for the non-profit success pack, all right? You have, you have lead, you have campaign, campaign, have a campaign member. We will discuss about that and then there's contacts and there's relationships, affiliations. For example, um, a contact can be affiliated to a company. A contact can be affiliated to a prison if they're an inmate. A contact can be affiliated to a church, to anything, all right? So, and so on and so forth. And then there's a recurring donation. There is soft credit, hard credit, right? And there's, there is general accounting unit. We will discuss about all of, all of this stuff. This is specific, specifically pertaining to non-profit success pack. So do not get overwhelmed. This is just tasting it. So see what we will, we will be getting into. Okay, so this is just still an intro here. So you can see the ERD diagram on how these objects are related to each other, right? And then don't sweat it as well. Um, let's keep moving. So that's basically basically it. So nonprofit success pack is basically a big customization and addition to the main Salesforce platform, right? And it's specifically made tailor made for serving nonprofit organizations. All right, let's move on. So hopefully I'm talking to you uh, and you have the same situation like I did, and I am still the only IT. Salesforce developers admin architect on the organization maintaining the organization Salesforce needs um, you are probably as well doing the same thing as me so you are on the right track let's keep doing this together it's like me helping myself in the past so it would be a great privilege to help you if you're feeling overwhelmed and Oh, where do I start? All of this stuff now I have to know. So you are on the right track here. Okay, let's do the quiz together. What are the primary structural elements of the NPSP data model? The data model would be co consisting of custom and standard objects. So the objects are like the spreadsheets, right? So this would be the answer. What is a record? A record is a single instance of an object like a household or a donation. You know, like a record, a record like a file, right? A record. A contact is a, is, is a contact maybe is a, is a object, but Jimmy is a record. John Doe is a record, you know, an actual record. So that's it. Let's check the quiz and I will see you on the next video. Bada bing, bada boom hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce app exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom